Hello and welcome to uh, the South Asian Heritage Month Family Quiz. My name is Bobby Seagar and I'm really delighted for you because this is the first ever uh, South Asian Heritage Month in the UK. If you usually come along to my Saturday family quizzes, they're normally quizzes for the NHS, but this one in particular is for South Asian Heritage Month. So if you're wondering what it is, it's a month that is there to commemorate, mark and celebrate South Asian culture, history and ties to British history. So we're looking at, if you look at the globe, we're looking at the countries of India, Pakistan, uh, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka, Afghanistan, Nepal, Bhutan and Maldives. I think I've got all the countries there. So welcome to everyone. Shavads, um, I'm going to go to full screen for this so you can see me. Okay, so I'm going to get um, ready for each of these. So you're going to you're going to be seeing temporarily an empty screen, but don't worry. I'm not going to run off. I'm going to be getting, I'm going to get really boiling and sweaty for this because I'm changing lots of outfits. Okay. So again, bear in mind, these are Bobby Seagull Gerards. I'm not going to be getting any BAFTAs. Not anytime soon. Okay. So the first one, I'm going to go off and get changed. I'm going to, I'll, I'll tell you what the instructions are. So write down one to five. Okay. So the first person I'm going to be giving you, uh, I want the name of uh, this person. <laughs> oh god, this is like, and I want, oh my god, my out, you know my Indian outfit is called, I think it's called a kurta, it's actually stuck to me. <laughs> Hold on, so I want the name of the person, and I want um, uh, the constituency that they represent. Oh my lord, I'm so sweaty. Um, okay, I almost need like, if this is a television thing, they'd probably do a pause or an ad break. Um, Oh, okay, I'm trying to make this as realistic as possible. So I want the name of the person and I want the constituency that they represent. So hopefully the first part will be easy, but the second part might be a bit tricky. Okay, here we go, here we go, I got it. I'm just about ready, okay, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Oh, last second. <laughs> I have, to I have to put on shirt and trousers, the things that I do. If someone's tuning and they're like, where's this guy gone? Has Bobby disappeared? No, 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 I've not disappeared. It's all for the charades. Okay, here I am. Okay, so identify this person and um, the uh, their constituency that they represent. Okay, I realise that um, these are tough financial times for the country. So that's why in my latest budget package, I'm offering you all a taste card, a taste card that gives you 10, up to 10 pounds off Nando's. So if you want to go to Nando's in this budget, you all have a 10 pound voucher. So I'm encouraging you families to go out and spend to get Britain open again. So in this uh, budget here, there's 10 pounds uh, for all of you to go to Nando's or Pizza Hut, wherever you want to go. So, the question was, I want the name of this person and the constituency they represent. That's question number one. Okay, <laughs> now I need to get ready for question number two. <laughs> okay, uh, question number two. Oh my God, I'm so... The th okay, question number two is, I want the name of uh, this monarch and I want the decade that this particular incident happened. Uh, I want the name of the monarch. Oh my god, I am. This is. Um, I am very, very, very sweaty. I'm changing into Mark Zell. So, the name of the monarch and the the year, the decade, the decade this incident happened. Okay, here we go. I'm really ready. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. I, I'm very sad. My, my husband, Albert, has died. I'm very sad he's died. But I hear my Prime Minister, Benjamin Disraeli, he's got some good news for me. Benjamin, what's the good news for me? I've been mourning for 15, 16 years. You're telling me what? I'm going to be Empress of India. Oh, I'm Empress of India. The jewel in the crown. Thank you. Prime Minister Benjamin Disraeli, I am now the Empress of all of India. So, 
For that one, I want the name of the monarch and the decade this incident happened. That's question number two. I'm even wearing my mum's outfit for you, the things that I do. Okay, uh, let's get changed again. Okay, question number three. Um, I want uh, the name of the singer. Okay, I need to put, let's see if I can find the name of the singer. And uh, as a bonus point, I want, oh, actually, hold on. I want the name of the singer and I want the religion that his family practiced. Oh God, I'm giving you a lot. So I want the name of the singer. I need to put on some uh, jeans. That's why I'm changing trousers. I mean, very authentic. Every single one involves the name of the singer. And I want um, the religion his family practiced. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, I've got this. Okay, I've got it. Wembley! Are you ready, Wembley? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Live Aid! Welcome! We will, we will rock you! Come on! We will, we will rock you! Come on, Wembley! Yeah! Come on! Yeah! Yeah! Come on, Wembley! Thank you! Thank you, Wembley! So, I want the name of the singer and I want uh, the religion of this uh, person's family. Thank you, Wembley! <laughs> That's question number... Uh, what question was that? I'm losing track. That's question number three. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now, the fourth question, I want the name of this, uh, this lady and I want... Uh, Oh my god, the jeans are actually just literally stuck to my legs. <laughs> um, they are skinny jeans. I want the name of this lady and I want uh, the university that she studied at. So I want the name of this lady and the university that she studied at. If my mum's watching this, I've raided your cupboard mother. Um, so I hope you don't tell me off. But it's all, all for South Asian Heritage Month. So the name of this, the name of this, uh, name of this lady, and um, okay. I I am honoured to accept uh, this Nobel Prize, the first, uh, the Nobel Prize, uh, to be the youngest ever person to win a Nobel Prize in peace. Thank you, and I'm uh, going to be very passionate about changing women's education in the world. Thank you very much. Thank you for this Nobel Prize. I shall put it on. Thank you. Thank you. So, I want the name of this lady and I want the university she studied at. That's question number four. Okay, <laughs> the final one. <laughs> oh, my room is just a, there's a great big heap. I don't know how I'm going to change back into my original outfit after this. Okay, um, so the fifth and final one of this round is I want you to name um, name the person name the person and the, the household substance that they were um, I don't think they were if I can put this outfit on the name of the person and the household substance that they were marching for Okay. We will stand up to the British and we are going to march from here in Ahmedabad all the way to the Arabian Sea. We will march and we will pick up many people. So I want you to tell me who I am and what household substance I am marching about. I'm going to march to the sea, so two marks, who am I and what household substance am I marching about? That's question number five. Okay, <laughs> now it's time for me to get back into my normal human outfit. Oh my god. Okay, so um, there's no 10 second dance this time, 
because uh, hopefully you've had time to think about these. So you need to work two hearts. The first question I want is the name of the, that um, politician and his constituency. Uh, second one I wanted, what did I want? I wanted, I think the name of the monarch. Um, whew, hello, <laughs> 10 second dance, 10 second victory dance. How are my charades? I'm hoping you're enjoying it. Oh, here we go. Oh, how did you find the charades? I'm going to go to the answers now. The answers. I'm going to shrink back up. I'm going to shrink back up. I'm exhausted. You know, it's like it's like Joe Wick's workout doing those uh, charades. Let's have a look. So where are we? Charades. No, nope, wrong one. Wrong one. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Okay. Here we go. So the first one, the politician was um, Rishi Sunak. Rishi Sunak and his uh, taste, no, I was going to say his taste card offer. So Rishi Sunak and it's Richmond. That's the hard part. Rishi Sunak, I'm hoping you got. It's Rishi Sunak and Richmond. That's question number one. Question number two. So this was Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria. Do you like my regal impression? Queen Victoria. And it happened um, in the 1870s. 1870s is when she was given the unofficial title or title of Empress of India by Benjamin Disraeli. So it's Queen Victoria and the 1870s. And for the decade, I'm being lenient. If you get 60s or 80s, I'll give you a mark. Question number three. The musician was Freddie Mercury. Or I think if you put his original name, I think it's Bulsara, I'd give you the mark. But Freddie Mercury and his family are... Zoroastrian, Zoroastrian. So actually Zoroastrianism is the world's oldest, I think continuous monotheistic religion, so one God. Um, <clears throat> and in fact, so if you put Parsi, it's the Parsi community. So Zoroastrianism or Parsi is one mark and it's Freddie Mercury. Come on, I was doing the Live Aid concert, come on. It was obvious, I got the, the jeans and I got the vest. Um, and then question four, the person was Malala, Malala, and at Oxford. So she just graduated, congratulations Malala, uh, from doing PPE, Politics, Philosophy, Economics, at Oxford. I'm losing my voice, I'm losing my voice, okay. And the final fifth one was Mahandas Karamchand Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi. So Gandhi, and he marched over salt. He marched over salt. There you go, and here are the answers. Questions one to five. Let me know your scores. And I'll just, um, quick few announcements. So one is, um, if you're enjoying my quizzes, I do quizzes all the time. Obviously I do my classes, but it's the end of term. So my next class is uh, on Thursday, again, about South Asian heritage. Um, it'll be on Thursday, 11 o'clock, on my, all my same channels, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, on Wednesdays, 8 o'clock, I do normally a short quiz, about 20, 25 minutes, a football theme quiz. If you love football, again, when I, when I, won, ce when I won Celebrity Mastermind, my topic was actually England at World Cups. And I even beat Gareth Southgate in a quiz about football recently. I took part in an England quiz and I beat Mr. Gareth Southgate. He gave me a little applause. I'm going to show that video to my students when I return back. But on Saturdays, I do a family quiz, a bit pretty much the same. A back to school round, there'll be a pictures, there'll be charades, music, the same structure. Sometimes it's like a general, there's no theme, but other times it's themed. Like I did a Wimbledon one recently. I did a, um, what did I do? A 4th of July theme. And I think next week I might do like a summer holiday themed one. So thank you. Thank you so much. See you all very soon. Lots of love. Lots of South Asian heritage. Much love to you all guys.